Game Boy Mega Machine update number three. Let's initiate launch sequence. Oh. <laughs> So as you can see, it's changed a lot since the last time we spoke. Uh, Sim came around and gave us a hand with a lot of the woodwork. Uh, yeah, it took us about a day like cutting up. <laughs> so me and Sim have finally built this. It's like, I'm amazed that I was managed to fit all of this wood in the back of my Volvo, but you know, <laughs> finally. Finally I can start putting the Game Boys into it. It's really gonna start to look like it's supposed to look, you know. Eight Game Boys on each row with some other controls, and then there's this nice control panel at the bottom. Keyboard here. It's pretty massive. It's pretty huge. It's two and a half meters wide by two meters tall. That's a pretty big box, but I've built it in three different sections, so it is sort of portable. So that took a couple of days to kind of get it done and then paint it which, um, you know, took actually quite a while. I wasn't expecting it to take so long. And then it was all about getting all of these prototypes I already built and put them into the case. Thank you very much for everybody who suggested it in the last conversation that we had on this was ribbon cables. Beautiful, beautiful ribbon cables. These have changed my life. Instead of having to make my own wires, these things are able to just connect between the uh, Game Boys using the little connectors. Boop, boop. They are a little expensive. I had to spend quite a bit of money on these things, but it's a necessary thing because it saves a lot of time. However, these brought up so many problems. Basically, the thing is, is they're a lot thinner. I need a lot more of them. And it started creating a lot of weird kind of signal noises, making the Game Boys go mad. I wasted about five days trying to work out what the heck went wrong. And it basically made me go back to the starting line. I had to literally like um, buffer everything, filter every single part of the electronics so there was no noise going into anything. And yeah, that's why it doesn't look super different to the last time, it's because I had to pretty much start again on the electronics. So yeah, anyway, let's have a look around the back, shall we? Uh, oh, oh, this is just the right size for my head. I probably won't be able to get it out. Okay, well behind here, you can see there's still a load of bus boards. But this stuff, I love it, uh, the ribbon cable. Over here, there's the Arduino boy, which is actually on breadboard again, because basically it doesn't drive eight Game Boys. I needed to actually make it twice, even though I buffered it with MOSFETs to kind of make the, uh, the electrical signals more crisp and more powerful to run through, but I was only able to actually power four Game Boys with one Arduino boy without it all dropping out and being a little bit like noisy and stuff. So the Arduino 
Fire Boy has now got two Arduinos in there. This one over here, this is for modulating all of the CC commands, all of the effects inside the Game Boy. So this connects down to those knobs down here, which actually uh, correspond to different things like the wave type, the pulse width, uh, the pan, loads of different things inside Trash 80's MGB, which is the software that I'm using in the Game Boys. Lovely. Oh, I can't wait for all of these rows to be filled with Game Boys. Oh, it's just, it's getting, it's coming along a lot. Like this is starting to sound pretty damn big. And that is only one synth voice, eight Game Boys. So when there's six synth voices, it's gonna sound huge. So the song that I played at the start, the sequence was actually running two channels on all of these Game Boys, one for each note. However, that's not how it's gonna work when it's all put together. Each of these channels, all of the notes inside the Game Boys are gonna be playing exactly the same note. And then the next channel above is gonna be playing a different note. And then the next one, and the next one, and it's gonna keep on going up. So you can play six notes at the same time with 48 oscillators per note. Which is going to sound pretty fat. Like you were listening to 24 oscillators. So imagine that times a lot. It's going to be big and massive with a load of filters, which sound really nice. It actually sounds better than I was expecting it to. So I'm pretty excited. <laughs> So yeah, as you can see, it pretty much dwarfs anything else that I've built and anything else in my room, even though everything else is pretty damn big. Furby organ looks pretty teeny weeny compared to this. So yeah, my next job is to build some filters and then I'm going to build the rest of the voices. But it's going to be an interesting journey. If you want more information on this, I'm going to be doing more vlogs on Patreon. You can download the song that I did at the start on Patreon as well. So if you're interested in that, go and check it out. And I'll be back with more updates on this on YouTube in a couple of weeks. Who knows? But yeah, I've been Little Mum No Computer. This is the Game Boy Mega Machine. Don't forget to subscribe and don't be scared to try it. Mm.